and welcome back to Cook Strikes, ladies and gentlemen. This once again your man Bob Mob, Bob Wildcard. Welcome you back. Uh, I'm trying to remember what happened last time. Let's see that I'm logged. Yeah, Narco. Yeah. Narco, uh, just went completely berserk it. The fact that she was targeted in her own website and uh, apparently is planning on killing um, her arch nemesis, Tomo. Was so upset to that when she got held up? Hmm. It's not exactly professional to be away on your first day at work. I cry my teeth and hope that Shinya can't see my anxiety. So be here. <coughs> I don't believe the bitter words that's open up right now. Send out the town. Message is always seemingly a bad new phone. Not really expecting a reply. Actually, she's not the only one absent. Tomo isn't here either. Doesn't need to tell me that. I've been watching the desk for like a whole game since I came in this room. There's a small surprise waiting for her on the top. The top desk drawer cursing yours truly. They've eagerly anticipated my arrival for an hour now. Well, late, late, late last night, so I wonder if she woke up one time. Oh, it's easier. It looks like it fell out of my mouth. Don't let me see his recap of his night with Tomo. Don't you have work to do? Ah, oh, of course, I need to... Let's focus on his thoughts, shall I see him on his way? I turned, I focused the keyboard in front of me. As I type, let it scroll across my screen seemingly slower than usual. No way, no Tomo. Static drone of the office environment is just as loud as ever, but without those two here, something feels off. I was simply missing on her first day of work. I'd say what you write about Tomo, at the very least, he's punctual. For her to be this late is very unusual. What's this? Kurosawa, a word if you please. Soft but sharp. Soft but sharp voice. Sounds like my thoughts. Look up and find another from the village woman standing over me, on her back, doing in an intimidating fashion. Tell me, Ida, executive floor, who sees a lot of the juniors on the floor. I deal with her a few times a week. She's a serious and critical person, but I've seen a warmer side of you as she said. Callie's on her own level. Miss Ida, did you need something? Please come with me. I looked into the glass from my chair and followed us through the office. She leads me to one of the glass screen cubicles that line on the wall of our office. Special space is reserved for meetings and temporary workstations. Take a seat. Follow instructions sitting down on bright and colorful plastic chairs and fill this one closer. No employee was supposed to start work today. Sato, an acquaintance of yours, if I'm not mistaken. That's right, I've been trying to get in contact with her. I see. You, do, you understand that this doesn't affect well on Sato's character if she can arrive on time of her stay of work, correct? Yes, I understand. Believe me, it's very out of the ordinary if I were to do something like this. I'm sure. Fujikaru recommended Soto for the job based on your personal request. What? That ain't right! You need to be aware that since Fujikaru holds rank over you, he is the one who will be recommended for having a suitable employee. Yeah, exactly. 
shouldn't be. Okay, well that's good to know these people. Now I won't go so far as to punish Travis recommendations will be not for the foreseeable future. What? That ain't right! Because of someone else he must suffer? That's not right. And any attempt he makes to climb the ladder so to speak will be vehemently refused by other executives. Yeah, I know, right? Come on. That's a bit extreme. All that because one temp employed that in self work. That's the way they said go. I've seen it dozens of times. The reason I'm telling you this is because you should feel so much more responsible than you apologize to Lord Chicago. If anyone knows me apologize you and your kind to be so mean to him, so out of the field to be doing that just because of someone who else not show up on time. It's not his fault, it's hurt. I had no idea. Honestly, I... Enough, this is an open discussion. Apologize to Fujikawa and see if he will have find his heart to forgive you. And please, find him to seek employment elsewhere. I don't see... What? That ain't right! Please. That's all. Katomi dropped the exit to keep a cool knees for the Lord, seeing a stupid looking green plastic chair. Sorry about that, I just need to make sure it's recording. I'm taking some time to compose my thoughts before also working out. Don't know what to say to say. I don't know if I should even say anything. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's one that could tell me as being a bit extreme and effectively halting since clear to religion. It's not because I recommend it hard for the job. I feel like an idiot. But how is I supposed to know that that would prove unreliable? And still. Yeah, exactly. It is far too extreme. She is out of line. Something else is not play here, I can feel it. Maybe you could tell me once seeing it gone for her own reasons. But I can't imagine why. As a junior employee now except for the type of stuff I might want to tell us make out of this. My eyes fall on the empty count of coffee next to my computer screen. I wish I had posted more than one this morning. I just go to the top of my screen, I can still see it somewhere where it's right. Maybe I'll have to wait until tomorrow for it. You have to have a feeling. I'm sure I'll still love it. Well, that's mysterious and kind of ominous coming from Noriko. I don't really trust her. I don't enjoy my walks home to the park in the season because I normally do. But too many things weigh on my mind. How it's more soon young could tell me. Why is it that I'm increasingly find myself drawn into office drama? I don't want to deal with any of it. I just want to pursue my own goals. Working as an office is a means to an end. I'm going to keep roof over my head and have my safe corpse girls in this. If I could quit, I would, but I can't. Not just yet. I wonder if I could monetize Corpse Kill services. Users could pay a fee to request this, or I could even just accept donations. But I get the sinking feeling of asking for more money will just the amount of requests I get. The number of requests are already coming in is depressing me though. If I reduced any further, I'd be in trouble. As I draw close to my apartment building, my phone cries out for attention. I bring it to my ear with a swift hand. How are you? Oh, cool. What's the deal? I've been trying to get in touch with you all day. I'm sorry. 
so sorry. I, I couldn't feel myself coming to the office. You have a leg out there. Tell me why. You, you know, just so far now that you know, what are we talking about here? Stalkers? We don't know about this. I left the apartment twice, I really did. But I had to go back and sign each time because it didn't feel right. I had to check a few things and then check again and then in the end. Okay, I gave okay, up being late in bed. I was so far asleep because by the time I was really late. Alright, sounds like you had a rough day. I'm sorry, but the situation isn't great. Just go and be honest with you, okay? I don't think they'll be happy with you if you come in tomorrow. If I were you, I'd write a polite letter of resignation just for getting off the job. Senior. Senior's been kind of thrown under the bus because of this. Senior? But why? I'm not too sure myself. Since he got the since he got you the job, I suppose he was probably responsible for you. But because you didn't sound I mean it sounds like his career is in real jeopardy. Okay, let's be careful, Iris, as I've said that before. Take a breath. Oh no. Take a breath. You didn't know something like this would happen. I didn't either. I think this one because I cast it out for him or something because it's too much for no reaction. He meant that. I can't believe it. You went to cost him his job. I know. You didn't mean for this to happen. Look, I'll try and spill things out of the job. I'll talk to you soon tomorrow. You need to look after yourself right now, okay? If I was able to take it easy, it's time to relax. Okay, I forget this ever happened. I'll come and look after everything. Thank you, my love. Okay, get some rest. Talk to you soon now. Bye bye. I'm the call with a heavy heart. I don't actually have any idea of what to do. When it comes to how I just feel obligated, always tell me everything will help her feel better. To follow through with my words and genuinely make things better for me. Well, maybe we'd have a different relationship than we do now. But I'm following this one opportunity for a long time ago. In senior high school, I never really had children. I was never really truly understanding of it, like it cost me too much. Things are different now, though, of course. I've seen what she goes through. I'd like to think I understand her a lot more now. My feelings for her are sure, not muddled in sympathy or pity. This was a different life. Why, is it like a romantic relationship or what? I'm confused. I haven't made all this. Mistakes. Well, the only stupid mistakes is the one left unlearned from. As the old saying goes, I'll be happy to be with her. But now, the best I can hope for is that she wants to remain friends with me. And that will be enough to satisfy me. Yo! Nice. Drink of icy sweat to satisfy me. In their distance, sitting on the bench close to the park, says he's an easily recognizable figure. Come here! I face my tracks, and my body wants to keep walking to reach the familiar track to my heart. My breath is engaging, it's fight or flight mode. Torn between my options, I find myself completely the stage today. Come on, I won't hurt you. My mind has been waiting here for me all afternoon. She knows my route home. That's obvious since I lost count of her. She's very 
fair to sit in the park. Can't tell but ten socks that she leaps off the bed and some puss. You're into weird crap, right? Like cold stuff? Uh, maybe. Is that what you came back to ask me? Yeah, it just isn't key. I want the opinion of someone freaking me. See, then I was had to fight him for. It's kind of dumb, you know, but... Have you heard that creep course girl website thing? What does she think she's talking to? At one point, it has a lot of fun. I thought it was. Yeah, right. I had rooms too, so I checked it out. I thought the whole thing was really fun. Like, I could make it... They could be real? Anyway, maybe I'll use the two crushed death. Is that so? Tell my was pretty much straight up in bed that she was the one who crushed my death. After all, I know exactly how many crushed come through the site. They just wanted to bend from her. Yeah, and. Well, you know how the site works, right? Mm. For me. All I do is put a photo of a bitch and her phone number. Then she's supposed to drop dead. Simple as that. Thing is, no one knows how it works. Or if it works, actually. Right, so, okay. So, you requested somebody's death? What happened? Well, this is it. This is what she up. Missed the ship of my photo. Caught her red handed. Huh? What's up with music? It's definitely fitting, but I didn't expect it to change. See, dumb bitch went dead. I'm positive I didn't hear her right. What did you say? Six is four now, Philip. She's standing in the door now. Who's telling her I'm trying to? My mind is racing frantically, scanning through the fist of corpse conspicuous of last few months. The only people who've died recently are Carla, Tsurumaki, and Ichi Hanada. Don't want to talk about the females, so they froze out easy. Then there's Roy from Tama. She died a long time ago. Last year, in fact. So I told her I was the one who crossed her. That's why it's just not going to be people don't know. That leads me to believe the only person who took my computer talking about is a car that is simply back to me. Or does somebody else die? Somebody I never found out about. It's impossible. They've been so thorough in searching for themselves in my work. The only victim to all should be talking about the car. Wait. Now oh, that still can't be right. Tomo requested my death. Somebody, Tomo, uploaded a photo to the Corpse Girl's website just recently. <sighs> Tomo, what you're saying is really serious. Are you sure this person died? Yep, no doubt. That's what I'm about to talk to you about. If you give me this cult joke, how do you think? She died from a website. Did you actually my request really kill me? Because I don't want this cramp on my conscience, you know? I... I don't know what to say. <laughs> Come on, I was not really joking with the website. Didn't think for a second it could be a word. But now this bitch is cold and down and I can't sleep at night. You've been shooting close to the only thing making me calm lately. Tom Ross thinks she saw me with some moss. So I didn't think she had it now. Indeed, neither did I. She thought the website was a joke, then fair enough. It's only natural she wanted to play around with it. Then again, I'm kind of offended that she figured the whole thing was fake. Corpse girls were so damn hard to be considered and hard to be considered a joke. But I want to get to the bottom of this. I need to find out whose death Tomo requested. 
and more importantly, the question of who applies the first of all death remains unanswered. So, uh, what's the name of the person you requested to die? A name? Oh yeah, you might know her. How? Huh. Interesting. The escape man was a kind of Sonaki. Kind of Sonaki. So now she's well and surely dead. Tom always isn't wrong in believing the website killed the Connor. Tom once posted a noise he wanted to try the website. He was waiting for someone to try to home. Why call correctly? Question for Connor's death came through Corp's Ghost website source after I read that post. But I've still not made the request on the very same day. So then, Tom was Assume the person who requested the kindness death was someone in the office. But I never figured it would be a true data entry turned to a Tomo. How did Tomo even know Kakane? I can't see how their paths would have crossed. This is a large office, but. Yo, Sacco, you in there? I stepped out of my thoughts and read Tomo's dead art gaze. Professional opinion? Can website really kill someone? Tom can do it, Lance. <clears throat> I could state that I believe the website worked and therefore increased Corpse Ghost credibility. Or I could play it safe and make sure I'm not suspected of the hunt. Can you say because I think there's a choice coming up? Absolutely not. Website can't kill anyone. Yeah, I figured. This was just worth it she died. You reckon I'm not guilty then? I didn't really want the bitch dead anyway. I was just mucking around. Yeah. Don't knock guilty. Phew. Thinking this should be capitalized, even though it's not actually spelled properly. Thank God. That's a real way off my elbows, you know? Mm -hmm. I sure as hell wouldn't mess around with websites like that again, though. I'll play it real straight from now on. I gotta get my life to look together. I gotta make work after now. Right, well, good luck with that. I need to get up. What I want to do now is go back and figure out who the hell I'm looking for to be to the website. My mind is real and I'm not in the right headspace to listen to tell me it's true of a locker. Drew, such an awesome word. Steve Martin once wrote a book called Pure Drivel. The collection of uh, comical short stories. Steve Martin's awesome. I love wacky comedy. If words words for Jake Willis, thanks. Thanks for putting my mind at ease. I know we always hit we ain't all seen that and, and Well now that's about it for now. For fleeting up time as it's who's about to part on to South Korea last week. That possibility has appeared in my mind almost as soon as it had been. See you tomorrow. She waves almost seriously and wanders back through the park and turns like him. Time to go up. Can't relax until I know who requested my death. If it wasn't Tomo, this situation could be a lot more serious than I actually thought. If it wasn't because of my petty squabbles with her, then someone with really it wants me dead. That's going to be the end of this chapter, ladies and gentlemen. For now, to make sure it doesn't get too long. If they want to, please consider subscribing. I'll send back fairly well.